And this is a buffalo. <laughs> this is a buffalo made entirely out of metal. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey, we're filming on my camera again. Yeah, I just pick it up and I just start filming him. So if you guys see some random clips that just randomly of Sean just chilling in the background, it's because I just picked up the camera yeah. and rocked and rolled it. How mm -hmm. are you feeling? You're tired. I'm tired, but we didn't do something. What? Hold on. Wait, we have to do. We have to take this right here. We have to do. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Relaxed. Very nice. We're about to hit this road freaking hard today. We got like how many miles? Probably like another forever. Yeah, we got eight hours or so of driving today. Maybe 10 at most. I think we gain an hour somewhere in between. So it's super awesome. But we're getting Sean up extra early. We're getting Sean up extra early today. 8.06 in the freaking morning. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to go see this bad boy. So let's freaking hit the road running. Sean, folks, it's me, Sean. Backseat Girl Productions at the Super 8 in Elk, Oklahoma. <laughs> this fine gentleman right here hooked us up with an awesome room last night. Thank you so much. Would you, you like welcome. to tell us about your hotel? You're welcome. We are the try our best to be surviving on coronavirus and all, but we are doing great now, and we appreciate you guys traveling and stopping by us. Come see us. Thank you. Definitely. And then, literally, the Route 66 line is right down the street, so it's a good spot to stop, get some rest, and then wake up, hit the ground hard the next day. Cool. And you got their social distancing and stuff. Free, breakfast. free breakfast. Yeah, there's the road. Let's go. Here we are, the Route 66 sign. You saw us driving up. Here it is. I'm so happy to be here. Oh my goodness, it's like a little bit after eight o'clock in the morning, I think. Hotel was great. I was really happy with the hotel. Super eight for the win, bro. For the win, my eyes will aggressive. We're going here, we're having a good day. Let's go. There she is. The old bat yacht with the Route 66 sign. <laughs> Woohoo! there's a thumbnail, baby. This big guy. This big guy. Yeah, sweet. There's like a really cool little town inside here as well. So it's gonna be cool. Yeah, that's Myrtle. All right, Myrtle, we're gonna go park. All right, folks, good deal. We got the truck parked over here, ye oldie bat yacht. Let's take a look around and see what we have. Got all these flags up on the poles there in front of the Western Oklahoma Historical Society Center. The trading post over here and the place over here called Rex. Don't know what Rex is all about. We'll check that out in a minute. We're gonna head this way and see what this machine is. It says that it's a road grader. It was sold to the city for $10 in 1931 and it was used to help build Route 66 in 1926. <coughs> Mic check, one, two. This is really cool. It's how they uh, graded the roads. You can see it's uh, at the angle right there and it will make your road at an angle when you roll over it. Here we are on historical Route 66. That is Route 66 right there. There's the sign. And this is a buffalo. <laughs> this is a buffalo made entirely out of metal. Looks like there's a bajillion nails in there and a bunch of little tack welds. This is incredible. Look at this thing. This thing is nuts. Nose. And the eyes are so cool. Oh wow, oh wow. And they got a little flower garden around here. So cool. Ooh, those are neat. I don't know what they are. I think they're weeds or something, but uh, they kind of look like really big um, uh, oh, uh, marigolds. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, cool looking tree over there. It's like an old chapel. So I'm going to go 
down this way and I'm just gonna show you everything that I see as we walk this way. See over there we've got the mechanic shop. You see this is the memory lane photo opportunity. This is where you would drive through here and you can park in any of these spaces. Take photos in front of the old gas pump or Magnolia. I wonder what's in there. It's unlocked. Maybe it's not unlocked. It probably is unlocked. I think there's storage back there or something. Hamburger place. Come up here to the deck. Cowboys welcome at the hotel. You got your saloon right here. The windows are all fogged up. <laughs> bench right here you know this kind of looks like a a bed frame that's been re-welded into a bench that's what it is yep <laughs> that's neat it's in here that's the actual museum the actual museum we'll go in there in a minute it's part two of it there's part two, two? Parts. there's like two parts of it. this is like one and that's the other one there's the big boy Woo! so we passed over one of these bridges at least one of these bridges before on yep. our way here, so we'll go under again. This is the actual museum entrance, but we're not going in there yet. I'm going this way. It's like interesting little back half of the building. I wonder what they use the upstairs for, like storage and curation of things maybe? I don't know. Cowtown. All right, so fun fact. All this red soil or red dirt right here makes the rivers red. So if you're traveling and it's raining, you will see a river of red water flowing underneath you if you're in this part of Oklahoma. What's over here? We got the, the police station and the jail. Oh, jail, not the fire hall. That was close. Farm and the ranch museum. Anything in here? No, it's just all boarded up. Wow, there is so lots of, so lots of stuff. Yes, there's lots of stuff out here. There's city hall, fire station, all of the windmills over there. The satellite, oh, there's a bird. There's a bird on the top of the antenna over there. That's pretty cool. It's like a television set thing. Yeah. It's like from the old uh, tower and then they put actual satellites on it. You can see in the distance it's a cell phone tower. Yep. That's how big those things are in real life. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Over here we're going back to Cowtown people. Taking it to Cowtown. This is a really neat little area. Is that a petunia? <laughs> People working on the pond. Oh, that's the 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 fake um the fake goose that I've seen a million times on YouTube. <laughs> I have to go get my fake goose video. Huh? The grocery store. How neat. And it does look like they're just using these uh, facades, these little maintenance places. All these artifacts. Everything has a barcode so that they can figure out who it belongs to.
<laughs> Filming a video? What are you doing? Perfect. The Winery Savage Funeral Service. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no whining and no savageness. <laughs> no, no whining, all savageness. Yeah. And these would be the tools of the trade for the embalmer. Uh, old death certificate. A wedding, or a wedding gown, a death gown, burial gown. Oh my goodness, this Dude. is the tank where they put all your formaldehyde that they pump you full of or something? Yeah. Alright, let's get out of there, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> Says the guy that works at a haunted house. Get some nice food. Hey, soda jerk machine. Do they have one? They do! They do have a soda jerk machine! That's pretty cool. Woo! And it looks like this is actually functional perhaps during uh, some time. They've got modern stuff in there. Yes, it's open right there, but it's not open. Oh. But yeah, you could buy like certain things. It wasn't open when I was here, which is crazy. Did you see the jukebox? They got an old jukebox in there? Old jukebox back there. Oh, neat. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You got the here. This is neat. It's an old Coke machine. Yeah. Really cool stuff. Looks like it's had its better days. Need to go see uh, Rick Restorations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever that place is called. Rick's Restoration. We'll take it to Vegas with us and then <laughs> kind of fix it. There's an old adding machine and there's a Remington typewriter. Holy cow. There's a typewriter. Hey. I was looking for a typewriter. If you haven't seen the typewriter, but I built out of Legos. Check out my channel. Safe back there. And they have taped up the uh, knob to that safe, the dial, so that nobody can spin it and lock it. They don't know the combo. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. There's another typewriter and another adding machine. Such fun stuff. What's this? this? <laughs> to adjust the machine, average voltage. Is this a generator? I don't know. It has like little things you can look into. It's kind of weird. You got like the eye spots. It's a shoe fitter, it says. So you put your eyes in it. There's like three different spots. There's one there, one there, and then one behind the sign that you can put your eye in. <laughs> oh, what the heck? It's hard to see it. But it looks like you put your feet in on this side. And it's it's an, hard to tell but with a glare, but if you look at it at a right angle, it looks like you might put your feet on it somehow or something. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I don't know how that would work. But. We'll figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> the barrel. What's this? Oh, another funeral home? Yeah, this is the funeral home and this is the funeral services. Gotcha. The mortician and the funeral home. I wonder if they're in cahoots. They got the old... Uh, what is that thing called? I know what it's called. I can't think of it though. Phonograph. Yeah, there you go. And it have all those. It's an Edison phonograph. That's an actual Edison. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it says it on the back. That's not a phonograph. It might be a phonograph. The phonograph had records. This has a drum though. Yeah, you put the drums on and then you crank it and then it will move the needle like that. Mm-hmm. Down it. Let me know in the comments. What's it called? Comment down below. It has Christmas lights on it. Hardened lumber. We need some lumber. Good hardened lumber. I wonder if they made that buffalo out of some of these nails. This barrel has definitely seen better days. There's the other half of the bed. Right here. Yep. It looks like they took maybe two of them and uh, <laughs> made benches. <laughs> Can't go wrong. The good old outhouse. Oh, an outhouse down an alleyway. <laughs> Perfect. Furniture and undertaking. So this guy will transport your corpse. This guy will bury your corpse. And this guy will embalm your corpse. What is up? Oh, and this people will try to keep you alive. They can get food all in the middle of it all. Yeah. Look, there's someone in there. I think they're gonna open it. Oh. We might actually be able to go inside. Oh boy. If not. Oh, well. He's sleeping on the job. Ah, what are you doing, bro? And he died. <laughs> and he died. <laughs> That's a big piece of machinery back over there. We're gonna have to check that out. Oh yeah, actually, it's really neat. 
<laughs> All right, replica of the early 1900s depot. What are they depoting? It's a train place. The train depot. It's not a train station. It's a train depot. Yeah. In the bottom left, you can see a Lionel train set. That's kind of neat. It's a big. Yeah, working hard. Is this the caboose? This guy will sell you a, a ticket. No, this is. He's doing Morse code and and writing down receipt. Oh my! This is a hard job back in the day. That could be your ticket. Now he's probably doing the Morse code to tell you what trains are where and where and how and stuff. Maybe I don't know. I wonder if he's like the conduct. You know, it's LC Jr. or Jones Jr. So you never know what he's in there doing. Yeah. They're probably just partying. There's all kinds of like shorthand or something going on. Oh, that must have been a hard job back in the day. I'm, I'm really guessing that was a hard job. There's a little train sitting there. That's neat. Oh, wow. Here's the caboose. The Choctaw route. That's cool. Oh, oh. Ooh, we're you gotta moving. be careful out oh. here. Oh, uh oh! You gotta be careful out here in the streets. <laughs> Build that that way. Someone was just like, you know what? Let's just nail it down there, like that. A little aggressive. It almost. That's. Why would you build that that way? Oh yeah. There is a lighthouse or something over there. Nice. That's neat. All right. Well, let's go this way. The Choctaw route. It looks like we might. Be able to go through here. Right Let's see. Choctaw, Oklahoma, Caboose, first railroad linking Elk City to El Reno. Nope. Well, we had fun. We got a tower oh, out here. We had fun. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Guys. Looks like he could have walked through this thing at one point in time, maybe. There is another staircase over there. This would be storage and stuff back here. I don't know. What do you do in the caboose of a train? You sit in caboose. You sit in caboose. Watch your stuff, man. That is extremely slippery. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying not to hurt myself any more than I've already had on this trip. <laughs> what is that thing? I don't know what this thing is, but I'm going to walk over there and find out what this thing is. What is this giant thing? This is a steam engine wheel. Interesting. Power all of your, your steam powered things with this thing. Wow. I guess it's so heavy, I can just leave the pieces sitting out and uh, nobody's gonna mess with them. Holy cow. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's a couple hundred pounds right there. You need to get the water and to add a little extra weight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think the five or ten pounds worth of water is going to make a difference. <laughs> looks like they had a teepee or something over here at one point. That does look like it was a teepee setup. Somebody set didn't like that, so they tore it down. And this is like a teepee site. This is a round disc of concrete. It's not round, actually. It's oblong. It's an oval. Huh. And it looks as if the teepee was actually ripped to shreds. That's what happened. Wind got a hold of it and ripped it to shreds. How unfortunate. This would be a, a stockyard or something? I don't know. Lead the cattle in this way, herd them that way. All this wide open land. This is really cool. The trail road track, there we go. Trains don't wander all over the map for no one. Sits on the engineer's lap. Burma shave is what all of these little signs say through here. 
That's interesting. <laughs> Guys whose eyes are in their backs get halos crossing railroad tracks. Oh, okay. Elk City Old Town Museum in Butler Rodeo Hall. Let's see, muscle garden over here. I don't know if they're open or not, but we're gonna take a look anyway. Tobacco and vape free property, it says there's a lady in there. Not responsible for accidents. He's in there working on something. We got a gazebo over here. How neat. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's cool, yeah. That's huge. That is a huge horse. The guy riding. Yeah, he's getting bucked off of it. Holy cow. That is. I think it would have been cooler if it would have been made out of that stuff that that over there is made out of. Oh, the metal over there? That would be like cool. It's almost like a piece of wood, though. It, yeah, I don't know what that's. It kind of looks like wood. It doesn't look like wood. Me. Let's see. Those are all donations. So it's one and a third times. So it's almost life size. It's a third bigger. 3,500 pounds. I don't know what it's made out of. <laughs> Can't touch it or else I could figure it out, but I don't know. Yeah, I saw the detail in the back. <laughs> the hanging detail. Did you see the hanging detail they have there for y'all? Yeah, they have some uh, really, really great detail on these sculptures. <laughs> <laughs> we already saw the bell. The bell is rather huge. Next door, Cruise Farmhouse. Let's see what's in the Cruise Farmhouse. Upgrade. Oh wait, hold up. This is the doctor's office. Oh, oh this is the doctor's office. <laughs> oh dear. They have a vibration chair. Oh. <laughs> Over that, off to the right. Um, it's hard with the angle and the glare and stuff. I'll try. But that is a vibration chair. It says. <laughs> Freeze frame. All that good stuff. At first, I thought that this thing said farting couch. Oh, it's a thinking couch, not yeah. a farting couch. <laughs> At first I think it was like farting couch. Oh, and there's a violet wand ray machine thing over in there. Oh my goodness. Wow, oh wow. All the medical quackery. All in one place. Here's like a surgeon's table, and or an exam table, a dentist chair. Oh, this is terrifying. I hate the dentist. Yeah, this is terrifying. What's... He's wearing modern scrubs. What? What? How did he get that? <laughs> it's... Did somebody find a DeLorean and bring it through here? This dude is wearing modern day scrubs. How dare you, sir? And a mask. Oh, how do these days come to? Hey, look up there. Hey, look, a fur coat and a window. Yeah. <laughs> There's a mechanic on duty, supposedly. Right over there, yeah. Hisdale Hospital. 
I imagine there was a Tisdale Hospital at one point in time, and uh, they took the sign away. They put it here. Mm -hmm. There's the Daily News, which is arguably one of the nicest looking buildings around here. Imagine that. The media gets the nicest building. Hmm. <laughs> Let's back in through here. That's the, uh, the gift shop. I don't know what this is. This might be the gift shop. I think this is the gift shop. Yeah, this is the gift shop. And then we have a boarding house over here. I guess that's like an old hotel kind of or something. Old uh, Dr. Pepper machines. You know what? Dr. Pepper machine. I haven't seen these in a while. They've got the, uh, the big style pushy buttons. I'm curious though. Look, oh. how, look how modern this looks. Oh so no. Fun. I was going to put a dollar in it. And then it said. Sold out. Sold out. Is everything sold out? Sold out. Oh no. I can't get anything to drink. Oh, this was in there. Whatever this you is. You don't get any money. Whatever this is, is oh, in there. Oh. Water. I don't want water. That's sold out, RC. Let's see what else is sold out. Oh, that right there, whatever that one is. What is this? Oh, that's sold, sold out. Sold out. Gotta wait for it to come back up. A&W root beer. Sold out. All and this, this one here, let's check this one real quick. I think Seven this, up. This one I didn't check. So you have water to choose from. Oh, well. <laughs> back into the pockets. You go and film this goose over here. <laughs> They're working on the pond, but I have to get a picture of this goose. <laughs> nice little placard, nice plaque right here. Over there, you can see a goose. <laughs> A goose in the middle of the pond. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that goose on television and on YouTube. And here I am with the goose in real life. <laughs> oh, there's fish in here? Yeah. Where do you see? Oh, there are fish over there. Oh, wow. How neat. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Goosey, goosey, goosey. Oh, geese. Gotta love them. No fishing. Aww. General Mercantile. Yeah. We got bleach and water. I guess there's cats that live around here. Interesting. That's an exclusive look here. The blacksmithing shop and the farmery. Pretty awesome. You're an amazing farmer. Did they really? Somewhere I said that on my time. Oh. <laughs> Look, I've been walking on the grass all day. Oops. <laughs> I did too, but there you go. That's kind of cool. Bob Potter. Bob Potter, Mel Patterson, I.E. Pat Patterson. Huh, or I.A. Pat Patterson. It's almost a tongue twister. Say that fast seven times. Yeah. Neat. This is cool. Saw this on the dis from the distance, and I didn't get really up close to it, and I'm glad that I did. These are all horseshoes. Every last one of them is a horseshoe. And the Christmas tree is the same way. It's uh, horseshoes. And then on the bottom, it's some kind of a wagon wheel or something. But yeah, even the top is made out of horseshoes. Neat. This is the farm, ranch, and museum in Elk City. All kinds of fun stuff. Oh, the yard here.